Okay, race 11, the Prix des Rags, direct Martin Chase. Over three miles, it's a Group 2, Grade 2 event. Number one, Spaniards in for Darren Thompson, standout king for Darren Howes, time to kill for Joshua Sutherland, acquitted for Paul Rhodes, Aldgate put for Carl Araganti, Toad Hall for Graham Clutterbuck, Britain Butter for Derek Hinton, Fuck on Melancholic for Martin Leadham, Little Gem for David Robertson, Mortal Vision for Molly at Surfer, Mrs. V for Doug Warren, Royal Molly for Ghost Sapper and Tango Orange for Kevin Minahan. They're already under the orders and they're already away. We start on this uh, kind of right turn bend here. We should all stay fairly close together as they approach the first of the 15. And everybody's over it. And we're being led by Bread and Butter of Del Hinton from Spaniards in in second. Time to kill his third, but just uh, taking a little bit of a pull. And the rest of the pack are pretty close together, all bar toad whores at the rear. Let's get to the second. Everybody's over that this time. Well, there's a poor jump by Miss V towards the rear. And it's bread and butter that leads us. Spaniards in against the fence. Out wide is acquitted. In between is a Royal Molly and all gate put. Get to the third. Four jump there by Tango Orange. Who I know got tangoed last week. He'll be looking to stay on his feet this time round. Let me look at the mid pack here. Oh, let's look at the stands as we go past the, the finishing post. Looks as we get towards the end of the day, the crowds have gone home here. Looks like a bit of a lockout. Maybe the Oitoi Racecourse uh, fans have been persecuted. I don't know what it is. Closed door event. Maybe they're hooligans. No, the French are a bit hooly at the best of times. So it's Bread and Butter that still leads us, and he's got a five length advantage over Acquitted and Royal Molly. And they've got a further three over Allgate Put and Spaniards in. We get to the fourth, everybody's over it. Alongside Spaniards in now is time to kill a Malta Visioni. All gate puts there. We'll get over the next. And they're just being followed through by, I think, Tango Orange towards. The, oh no, he's sort of mid pack now. Spaniards in. Fap on Melancholic, I can't see. Total or Miss V as they get into the six. It's a big fence that, and everybody's got over it. Not sure the fence is. Uh, like they've changed since the last race. <laughs> what did you do, Martin? You have a word with the uh, Cluck de Course. But we're being led by Bread and Butter here. And he's only got a three length of margin now from Acquitted and Royal and Wally. And then we've got All Gate Put. Morto Vision, time to kill. Standout King. And then followed through by Little Gem. Spaniards in. Fuck and Melancholic. I think the other one is Little Gem. The Great. And then we're a couple of links back to. Toad Hall and Miss V as they get to the seventh, which is almost halfway through the fences, and everybody's still on their feet here. There's still bread and butter that leads us. By about five to acquitted raw molly and all gate put together now. There are a couple on Malta Visiony, time to kill. Fuck on melancholy between horses, stand out kings are wider. They get into the eighth. Everybody's over that as well, including Miss Five towards the rear for Doug. It's still bread and butter that leads us. Del Hinton's had uh, an exceptional couple of weeks of late. His horses have uh, hit form towards the end of the season. They all make the ninth. And it's still bread and butter that leads us. From acquitted in second now. Ungay puts third. On the outside of that is time to kill. On the inside is Raw Molly. A length or so ahead of standout King and Malto Vision 8. And a length further back to the grey. Little Gem and Facon Melancholic with standout King. Tango Orange, Toad Hall, Spaniards in, and uh, Miss V's out of the picture at the moment, with just over a mile left to travel. We've got a further five fences to take, so it's bread and butter. From acquitted in second, all gate put and roll, Molly. Auto Vision E, Fac on Melancholy, and time to kill. And the grey little gem, Spaniards in against the fence. We get to the tenth, everybody's got over that as well. Spaniards in, pecked a bit on landing. Been pushed along a little bit now as they get to the 11th. Another poor jump there by Spaniards in. 
Got a bit of work to do from there now as he's being pushed along by his jockey, but it's bread and butter up front with six and a half furlongs left to travel. Acquitted in second, Allgate puts third, Multivision is fourth on the outside, his little gem, the grey, moving well. They get over the twelfth, oh, we're losing one now, Tango Orange has been tangled, oh, and another standout, King's going, so we've had a couple of pull-ups there, Miss V's been pulled up, here's a treble of pull-ups, all inside uh, a couple of hundred yards, but up front it's Allgate put that takes it up now from Acquitted. As bread and butter gives way, the one moving uh, really well now is Toad Hall from last, uh, looks like first position. He's being really well pushed along, so Toad Hall takes it up now inside the four furlongs. It's Toad Hall from all gate put, acquitted. Toad Hall's pulling away here. So they take this right turn and approaches to the next. It's Toad Hall with about a four length advantage. Out of the pack comes Facon Melancholic, and they get over the 13th. Everybody's still on their feet at the moment, but it's Toad Hall that leads by a good couple of lengths to all gate put. Little gem running on, Facon Melancholic's on the inside. Is acquitted on the outside is time to kill Spaniards in running on as well. Multivision, he's got a bit of work to do. So they get to the 14th, the penultimate. They're all over it. So it's Toad Hall that leads just by a couple of lengths to Little Gem. Acquitted all gate put time to kill Fac on Melancholic. They're all in this still. Can they catch Toad Hall here? They're just inside the final furlong with one left to jump. It's Toad Hall. They get to the last. Toad Hall's over it. Oh, we lost one there. Acquitted's gone, but it's Toad Hall that still leads from Little Gem. Fac on Melancholic on the outside. Side is on the inside, sorry, it's back on Melon Greek on the outside. It's time to kill all gate put between horses. It's gonna be Toad Hall that takes it from Fack on Melon Greek in second. I myself a little bit tongue tied there. I think the fall of acquitted confused me. Good win there for Graham Clutterbuck. Another win on the day. Won the first and now won the 11th. Back on Melon Greek was second. Time to kill was third. Little Gem was fourth. Old Gate put was fifth. So the pre de drags direct Martin goes to Graham Clatterbuck with Toad Hall. Fackle Melancholic for Martin Leedon was second. Third was Time to Kill for Joshua Salon. Fourth was Little Gem for David Robertson. And fifth was Allgate Put for Carl Arrigante.